New flavor is about to drop from G Fuel. Use code AFTERMATH, right? Right? For guess what? 10% off. All right. So this is Phase Rug's new Sour Blood. I said Blood. Wow. Sour Blue Chug Rug. Um, I'm guessing he plays a lot of Fortnite. Um, not sure. I thought the Phase guys were Call of Duty players, but you know what? Fortnite's just taking over. I mean, can we agree? Anybody watch the Game Awards? Just Fortnite everywhere, right? Boom. All right, and then we got 24K pre-workout. Of course, you can use code AFTERMATH, but not on gfuel.com, on gammalabs.net. Oh, wow. The difference, gammalabs.net. Had to make a whole nother site just for this product. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, FBI Math. Hey, today's, today's topic is the BM, the Smith Machine and Free Wigs. Now, one thing that I wanted to say, uh, just straight off the bat, because I know a lot of you just probably like watch the video and then like leave a little bit, like no, you like finish the video. But that's cool, that's cool. You still subbed, I hope. Um, if you're a beginner, I do not recommend using Smith Machine. All right. Now, Smith Machine really goes along with you know things like I'm doing now: hamstring curls machine, um, leg press, hack squat machine. Because it's on a plane, you know, it's still an unnatural movement in a way. I mean, it is unnatural movement, and a lot of weight machines are an unnatural movement, but it still singles out, isolates the muscle, which is different from like this hamstring machine to the Smith Machine. Now, uh, furthering on, let me talk about the workout today. So we started out with hamstring curls, uh, four sets, about 15 reps. Uh, 15 reps to start out, 12 reps to start out. I mean, after that, uh, 10 and then eight, and switched over to some more warm-ups, single leg, plyometric movements onto the box, as you see, starting from the ground, really in that power phase of, um, you would say, a running stance going into ball slams, working on the core. Uh, just, you just want to get fully warmed up. My leg days aren't even like leg days purely anymore. They're like full body days. And then for the more activating the glutes with some kettlebell swings, swings, which I feel like a lot of you should do. Um, if you're not doing kettlebell swings, they're a really great way to be conditioned and also get a lot of uh, glute activation and a good warm up. Yo, these are my favorite, like, yo, these are my favorite leg day pants, bro, these big bike pants. Also, G Fuel, um, once again, a reminder, use code AFTERMATH, we got the new, uh, rug chug blug, blue, blue, blug chug rug, whatever flavor, it's really great, sour, sour blue chug, so check that out, and then, uh, I think this is the last thing I did, finishing off with some single leg step ups with a press with the kettlebell on um, about five six reps each side for three sets um, very great functional movement um, I'm starting to break things down a lot more now really um, experience fitness more you know instead of just the uh, typical uh, routines of a couple other weightlifting even though stuff like this you do something like this sometimes it doesn't feel like you're doing anything you doesn't do anything it doesn't it doesn't enhance your body in a certain way, it's still something you need to do, and it really does. Um, so, and just a lot of workouts or exercises you may feel like, yo, this is not making me look better. And if you're exercising and you're doing what you need to, you're gonna start looking better and you're gonna start feeling better. And you're taking care of your body for the long run. Now, as you see me on the Smith Machine, the Smith Machine is something that I would say is not for beginners. No, you know, forget what I would say. I think I think a lot of people agree. It is not for beginners. Why? Because it is an unnatural movement. It is a straight bar. Nobody moves in a straight bar. All right. When you squat, when you bench, like when you bench, you typically move the bar in a C motion, right? And you can't do that here. It's literally just straight up and down. I mean, you can try to angle yourself to make it into a decline or whatever, but it's no, bro. Just, just, just beginners. If you're starting out working out, get off of the Smith machine. All right. Now, what I think the Smith machine is for people who are advanced and understand the reasoning and understand 
that the Smith machine is not good for uh, positionings, uh, for uh, squatting, benching, and shoulder pressing, and have already developed themselves and their formation when doing the compound movements. So this isn't going to affect advanced lifters, right? This is an accessory, this is another tool to help build muscle rather than to pretty much rely on it to um, have formation in their in their compound lifts. So I've really been using the Smith Machine a lot lately um, just because it helps me feel muscles work more. You know, in a, in a regular squat, one thing I couldn't do is really position myself mid-squat to feel it somewhere, you know? Like if I try to position myself or like lean back more or lean forward more, you know, you can't do that in a squat or you're gonna bust your ass. So that's one thing that I've been really feeling with the Smith machine is that whether I'm benching, deadlifting, um, not deadlifting, uh, benching, squatting, or shoulder pressing, I can mid rep or whatever change my hand positioning, my shoulder positioning, um, my body positioning, or you know how slanted I am, how upright I am, and feel where I want to feel it more in my chest. But I have, like I said, I have 13 years of experience. My squat is my squat, my bench is my bench, my shoulder press is my shoulder press. So I know that this Smith machine is not going to um, have a negative effect on my formation when it comes to the compound lifts on free weights. Now, those are the pros of the Smith machine I can give you, and I gave you the cons as well, as far as the unnatural movement and how beginners shouldn't use it. You just once again, you just really shouldn't because it's going to give you the wrong idea of how to properly complete a compound movement. Now, free weights, we already know. Free weights are the supreme. All right, we tried some front squats today. Um, really went up to, I mean, really messed around a little bit. Went up to about 315, I think about like four, four or five actually. So you'll see that in a little bit. Um, front squats are definitely something that athletes should really consider a lot you know i've been falling off from it just because honestly i've just been dude i'm a, I'm a person i've been lazy with the squats i'm like bro i'm tired of squatting like i'm tired of squatting uh, oh, excuse me I'm just, i always burp uh, i'd rather use my legs for like, explosive jumping movements and like wear my knees out doing that and then wear my knees out Squat. Hey, look at this. Look at this right here. Yeah, I'm playing Smash. I'm playing Smash, right? And squatting. Front squatting at that. 315. Bro, who does this? Who does this, bro? Who else? Who else do you see doing this, bro? Bro, if you like stuff like this, follow my Instagram at FB Aftermath. Alright? Those are Reebok shoes. Grab them. So yeah, I went to 405, man. I haven't done front squats in months. When I say months, like three months, bro. And I'm really trying to um, get a little bit of Olympic lifting back in. And that was easy. That was an easy 4 or 5. Oh, snap, bro. I might be able to get some 500. So um, I worked chest pretty hard, and I felt it being tight. So I decided to randomly throw in some Olympic lifting, some overhead squats, some drop-down squats. Um, nothing crazy. 135 on the bar. I think I want to go up like 20 more pounds or something like that. And try to do some uh, holds at the bottom, really trying to work my mobility back with the shoulders. It's hard. It's hard doing Olympic lifting and, and benching. You can't. Like, you gotta choose. Like, I could, I could just deadlift a lot, squat a lot, and Olympic lift a lot, and not have a big bench. But I'm not okay with that because I'm a bencher, and that's what I like to do. So... Hey, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you sub to the channel, like uh, this video, and watch my last video, please. It would help out a lot. Bye. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.